Hey, what's up everybody? This is Drew with Drew's Reviews. And today we're gonna do something that we can only do once every 17 years. And that's fish with 17 year brood X or brood 10, whatever they are, cicadas. So come along and let's see what that's like. Now I don't have any bait. I am literally gonna be picking up cicadas from the ground and using them. There's one dead one behind me I just stopped to look at. Once I get to where I'm going, I'll be able to show you guys a closer look at these things if you haven't seen them before. Or maybe another look if you've maybe seen them on YouTube or online. But they're everywhere. You can hear them behind me. Or you can hear them all around me. It's a constant chorus. And then you'll hear I guess when they're up close you'll hear like a maybe a more of a buzzing sharper noise and I maybe should do some research on these things since they only come once every 17 years and being where I am this is my third time experiencing them I told you guys I'm an old man but yeah whoa My fishing pole got caught. I guess that's nature's way of stopping me from saying I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm not an old man. I just uh, have many years behind me. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys see what's up when we get to the spot. This is just like really maybe a mile from where I live. So I just uh, have to walk a little bit more and then we'll be there. Oh no. Oh no. My spot has been ruined with debris. It's been a few weeks since I've been down here. Oh man. It looks like crap. There's probably some monsters living underneath there, though. It's just gonna be more snags. But we're here for a purpose. And unless I plan on deleting all this footage, we're gonna have to find some cicadas, get them on the hook, and get them down in there to see if we get anything to bite. All right, so first things first, we gotta literally go find some cicadas so i'm going to show you what that's like well we didn't have to go very far to find one there's one right down in here now he's not alive but in the interest of conservation i'm going to try him first well i'm not sure if he's alive usually uh, i'm getting this thing out of the way usually when they're alive their wings are folded at least that's what I've seen. So let's see. I get a stick. Let's see first if he's alive. Nah. Yeah, he is. So I'm gonna use this circle hook. It's a bit rusted, and I'm just gonna stick him in it. I'm really not fond of these things. Hope you're getting that. Kind of dug in there. All right, so and you, there we have a cicada on a string, and I don't care how he's hooked; I ain't touching him anymore. Let's get him in the water. I'm using what's become my favorite rod. This is a Shakespeare Micro Series Blue. It's an ultralight. And I've got four pound test on it. And we're going to throw it out there weightless. And just see what happens.
these fluttering around there on the surface. See if we can get them closer to that pile. Current is taking it up underneath that drift, whatever that pile of debris is. So it's underneath there. That was a fish. Oh, wow. I s oh, wow. Okay. We got to get another one on there quickly. We got another one here. I'm going to pin it down before I hook it. I just hate touching these things, they're soft. I would actually rather them be harder. Uh, edit that out. Oh, he got off. Better now than later. And that's what I mean when I say their bodies are soft. Fall right off the hook. See, we just did it again. Alright. That one's not cooperating. I'm gonna have to pick him up. Gross. <sighs> Worst things have happened, I guess. There was a good sized largemouth right over here last time. I saw his tail right after he took the bait. Hope this guy can sink. There he is. He came right up for it. Yeah. This is why I love this ultralight. I can actually feel the fish. <laughs> oh boy, should have brought a net. Come on, big guy. Yes. Whew. Should have brought my uh, my scale. That's over too. <laughs> Thanks, man. Seventeen year cicada. Let's get you back in. Oh, that was worth it. Let's get another one. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this little mini adventure. I just wanted to demonstrate that fish do in fact eat 17 year cicadas. When I was out on my kayak the other day, I didn't have any, but I saw fish literally come up to the surface and eat them. So I figured, okay, well, I gotta try it myself with actual, with actual hooks. The first time I did it, I found one when I was out on the kayak and uh, I, had, I, had a, I put a I had a weighted hook on the line already and I was too lazy to change it. So it went to the bottom. Now, I expect that fish would expect to see these things on top. So, but I did get a bite. It was likely from a bluegill, but went with it weightless today and you saw what happened. So unfortunately it was only the one fish, but any angler will tell you one is all it takes. So that was fun. Again, about a two pound pass on a ultralight with four pound test. So I got to feel it, you know? And that's why I like to go fishing. 
There's no sense in using a rod and you can't even feel the fish, at least to me. I suppose maybe if you're fishing for food or fishing for survival. But if you're just fishing for fun, might as well enjoy it with a rod that lets you experience the fish on the line. Whew, I'm hot. I'm supposed to storm today. I got more work to do. So I'm going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone who watches, everyone who subscribes, hits the like button. I guess some of you who hit the dislike button, that motivates me to do better as well. So thank everyone and get out and enjoy the great outdoors.